Yo, so I made a different video now because apparently I've listened through the last one and certain bits, the sound was edited out. The sound stopped working, which is a bit strange. Um, but then again, the whole my whole life is strange. I was talking in the other in the other one, the other video about I feel like I'm in the trial. You know, Franz Kafka. Um, essentially, I read that when I was cleaning windows. I sort of vaguely read through it before, but it didn't really seem so so relevant before. I read it a few years ago. Now I like read it. I was like hanging on on into every fucking life. Like, well, yeah, this is this is me, right? This is like some just wake up one morning suddenly isolated. Why are you isolated? Oh, like you don't know why you're isolated. Like, yeah, no, what's going on, guys? Oh, like you don't know what's going on. Like, no, please tell me. What, oh, yeah, what well, now? That's exactly what you would say if you were a bloody so and so. If you're a what's its face? Oh, disgusting. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's what my life has been for like 12, 13, 14 months. Um, so yeah, um, I get, got moved to this ward, to a different ward. Um, now they're saying, yeah, they say I can't have any internet. Maybe it's because I've been uploading videos. But I found some internet in this corner. Shh, don't tell them. <laughs> but yeah, it's, just, it's just a shame that um, they moved me because I was getting on with people on that ward. It was like really nice people, the staff were nice as well. Although the staff suddenly seemed to seem to have changed their opinion about me. We used to get on very well and now there's a sort of now they uh there's more what's the word? Reticent, more hesitant, more like mm, mm. before they were like, yeah, 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 yeah. So something's changed. Um so I want to go through a few things that have been sort of surrounding me and I've sort of dipped my, I've basically dipped myself in shit every time I start to figure out, I think, oh, this is why people hate me. Was it because you thought I had a baby? And they're like, oh, see, exactly, he did have a baby, he's talking about it. We never mentioned anything of that to him. And I was like, well, you didn't, but you mentioned like a billion things about babies with a, with a kind of uh, stern look of disapproval around me a million times, you know, <laughs> and, and, so, and so I was like, oh, I've had a baby, like, oh, no, I've had a baby, but, like, that's, um, like, I've only ever had sex once without a condom, and that was with a girl called Steely Dan Girl, who I haven't, she was in university. I won't say her name, this is why I use pseudonyms and all my things, because I don't think it's right to use people's real names in these things. This is why I was talking about Goblin Girl and Elf Wizard Girl. Because the Goblin Girl was a pun, was a play on the fact that she's actually quite promiscuous. So I was like, Goblin, Goblin, you <laughs> know? I don't mind that. It's, you know, I tend to become attracted to promiscuous women. Like, I wrote a song about it called Absence and Apathy, you know? Like, and I don't know, this is why I'm on the trial, right? The trial. I want to read the Metamorphosis as well. I haven't really read, I haven't read any of it. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Not much to say apart from I've never had a baby. Um, basically, I'm a virgin. I consider myself a virgin because I've had only mediocre sex from like one night stands, really. And it's, I want love. You know, I'm about love. Actually, I think everyone in this world, everyone right now, they just, they want to get fucked. Everyone's getting fucked. No one's getting loved. I'm about the love, you know? That's why I went so crazy. So crazy when I found all these sexual things surrounding me. Like, to be fair, I was doing, I was smoking meth, right? You know what happens when you smoke meth? You become really fucking horny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And um, yeah, that's why I wasn't sleeping as well. You know, I wrote about staying awake, you know, with the Descartes line in it. We're never so clear or complete when we sleep as when we are awake. Even more reason to something or other. I put that into the chorus. You know, anyway, no, I'm just, I'm just rambling now, but basically that's this is my life. We moved to a different ward. Cherrywood Ward, I think it's called, in Amberbrook Hospital. See, I don't like to hide things. This is where I am. Cherrywood Ward, Amber, no, 
sharing with um yeah, little broke class, but little broke class. Uh, so anyway, take it easy. From um, look look at my nails. We're not allowed nail clippers at the moment. Oh well. So wishing you a happy something or other. I'm Arthur Williams because they broke me down. I think they like that. The whole Indigo thing was supposed to be a protest against the fact that I'd been suddenly isolated and basically like you took everything away from me. I felt like I'd been, been sexually abused, you know? I feel like people are controlling my browser, just monitoring all my porn habits. That's why I was like, oh shit, you're monitoring my porn habits? Fine, I'll fucking whack in your face, you cunt. And once again, I'm saying I'm using cunt as a non-gender specific term, you know? Um, Fine, and then like I thought people were sharing my documents. Like, what, are you sharing my documents? Fine, here's all my notes, all my private notes. I don't even know what's in there. Like, people, like I feel bad because maybe I mentioned, maybe I wrote crazy things, I don't know. I didn't mean, that's why I put in the explanation on Amazon, you know, because it's, I put it up to be read on Amazon with a whole explanation about why I'm, why I'm publishing it. It's like, if there's anything mean to anyone, I really apologize. And I hope none of this is ever used to justify being bad to anyone or hurting anyone in any way. That, I, I put the whole explanation for why I did that. It's called Running Thoughts, Is This the End of the Indigo Soldier? Um, you know, so check it out if you want. I've only sold two copies. You know, I've only sold two copies for 99 cents and the IRS came and put, put their fucking hands in my pocket. Even though I've only been to the US once on a layover, you know, <laughs> like the I fucking IRS kid, they're like, yeah, we want your money, it's like, oh, shit, <laughs> okay, well, take it easy, this is already too long, I'll wait till seven minutes, da -da -da. so,